Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna do a video on my homemade trolling motor. So, basically, um, it's just a piece of all thread that I bought at Home Depot that is attached to a motor. Um, and this motor came off of an electric scooter that someone was getting rid of. They were throwing it out because the battery was dead. And, uh, it was just like a regular Razor electric scooter. So, uh, as also part of the electric scooter in the rear axle was this little spacer piece that was the perfect thickness to fit the thread of the all thread and the uh, motor shaft. So I hooked the all thread up to the motor shaft and then uh, I uh, cased the PVC, I mean, I cased the all thread with some PVC and uh, put it on a 2x4 where I tied down the motor in the edge of the PVC so uh, it spins uh, nice and freely and it's held down well and then uh, on the other end of this I have a little hole where I can stick a pin in and uh, stick my trolling motor on and so then I have a little handle up here with a switch this is where the battery goes and it plugs in right here so uh, I'm gonna assemble it and show you how it goes together all right so uh, now it's all in place and uh, so uh, basically on this end it's just an end cap with a hole drilled in it that allows the thread through with a nut um, that's tightened down on a washer with a the pin in through it, the pin through the rod, through the threaded rod, it holds the prop on. And then on the other side of the prop, it's just another lock, another nut, and a lock washer. So when the motor spins, it spins the threaded rod, it spins the propeller, and so motor, I mean the battery goes right here, plugs in here. There's my voltage meter, and it goes through the hole in the boat. So. I'm not gonna demonstrate it now, I'm turning on, but you get a pretty good range of motion and it actually turns pretty well down in the water. And then you just have to turn this. So basically I'll sit backwards in the boat and I'll turn it to turn the boat. So yeah, that's it.